going on because we have negative exponents, we have a power, powers raised to powers, and division. Remember when you're approaching these, first simplify what's inside the parentheses. And I'm going to do that by using my rule for dividing. And I have the same basis, C, two Ds, and two Es, so I'm going to just subtract the exponents to divide those terms. Starting out, I have two-thirds, C to the negative 3 minus 4, then I have D squared minus negative 3, E to the 4th minus negative 6, E to the 4th minus negative 6. All of this is raised to the negative third power. Then I'm just going to do my subtraction. Minus 3, minus 4, c to the negative 7. Here I have 2 minus negative 3, so that 3 becomes a positive. I have 2 plus 3, d to the fifth. And then e, 4 minus negative 6, that becomes a, a plus 6, a positive, so it's 4 plus 6 is 10. Okay, now all this is it's a negative third. Before I go on and deal with this power raised to a power, I want to take care of the negative 7. I want to avoid having negative exponents. And I can just remember my rule that says that a to the negative n equals 1 over a to the n. So if I have a c to the negative 7, I can just change that to the reciprocal and change this negative 7 to a positive. So this c is going to go to the denominator and become c to the 7th, d to the 5th, e to the 10th. Now I'm ready to work with this negative 3. My rule about powers raised to powers quotient raised to this power tells me that I have a to the m over b to the m. Okay, so I'm going to apply this negative 3 to both the numerator and the denominator. That's going to give me 2 d to the 5th, e to the 10th, negative 3, 3, c to the 7th, also to the negative 3. Since I have powers raised to powers, I need to multiply the exponents. So I'm going to go up here and continue on, right here. It's going to give me 2 to the negative 3, 5 times negative 3 is going to be d to the negative 15. And then I've got e to the 10th raised to the negative 3. I multiply 10 times negative 3 and get e to the negative 30th power. In the denominator, I've got 3 to the negative 3. And then I have c to the 7th to the negative 3. So then in order to uh, take this power to the power, I just multiply 7 times negative 3 to get c to the negative 21. Okay, what I want to do now is get rid of, I have all these negative exponents, and what I'm going to do is take the reciprocal of each of them and change the exponents to positives. Therefore, the 2 to the negative 3 is going to move into the denominator and become 2 to the 3rd. That's going to give me d to the 15, e to the 30th. So I moved all these three into the denominator and made their exponents positive. In the denominator, I have 3 to the negative 3. That's going to go up to the numerator and then c to the 21. I'm almost done. Part of simplifying, though, is making the fraction simple. So when I simplify this, I'm going to end up with 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. C to the 21. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. 
d to the 15th, e to the 30th. So this is my simplified form. And that was actually a pretty complicated problem. Remember, when you see something like this, start out by making what you have inside the parentheses as simple as possible before you work with what's outside the parentheses. So in working with this, I did my division of all the exponential expressions with the same base, and I came up with this. I looked at it and realized, well, I have a negative exponent, so I used my rule that allows me to convert that to from c to the negative seventh in the numerator. Uh, instead, I will have c to the positive seventh in the denominator. So that's one over c to the seventh. Once I had that, I applied my exponent negative three all of this is being raised to the negative third power. I apply that to the numerator and to the denominator. Multiply the exponents to give me this. And my final step was really to convert this, all of these, into terms with positive exponents by taking the reciprocal and making those exponents positive. And then I just took care of my constant. Okay. That concludes this lesson of educator.com. I'll see you next time.